Hi, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to Crime Busters 101. I post solved and unsolved crime-related topic on a weekly basis and also true crime and murder documentaries, so if that's something that might interest you, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Every case is unique and will have you on the edge of your seat, so enjoy the videos and remember viewer discretion is advised on all my videos, and if you are commenting, please be kind. Thank, Thank you, stay, stay safe. safe. This is the latest update on Madeline McCann's suspect charged with sexual offenses by German prosecutors. German prosecutors said they have charged a 45-year-old German man who was a suspect in the Madeline McCann case with several sexual offenses he allegedly committed in Portugal between December 28, 2000 and June 11, 2017. Police in Germany had announced in 2020 they were investigating Christian Bruckner in connection with the disappearance of Madeline, who went missing from her family's Portuguese holiday flat in May 2007. A statement released on Tuesday by the prosecutor's office in the German city of Braunschweig said, The accused is the same person against whom charges were brought in connection with the disappearance of the then three-year-old British girl Madeline Beth McCann. Specifically, the accused is charged with three offenses of aggravated rape and two offenses of sexual abuse of children, the prosecutor's office added. The new charges against him include the rapes of an unidentified woman aged between 70 and 80 and of a 20-year-old Irish woman. In both cases, the accused had gained access to their apartments, tied up and lashed the women with a whip, and filmed the assault with a video camera he had brought along. Hazel Bean, an Irish citizen, in 2020 asked UK detectives working on Madeline's disappearance to review her attack after learning that a new suspect in the then three-year-old's abduction had been convicted of a sexual assault with similarities to her own experience. My mind was blown when I read how he had attacked a woman in 2005, both the tactics and the methods he used, how well he had planned it out, she told The Guardian. Two of the charges are based on the testimonies of two former acquaintances of Bruckner, who described having seen the sexual assaults on a video camera and videotapes they stole from his house in 2006. The videotapes that show these acts have never been found, and the identity of the two females described by the witnesses remain unknown. Bruckner is also charged with forcing a 14-year-old girl to engage in sexual activity and of exposing himself to girls aged 10 and 11 on two separate occasions 10 years apart in Faro in April 2007 and in São Bartolomeu de Messines in June 2017. Madeline was three when she went missing from her family's holiday flat in Praia de Luz on May 3, 2007, while her parents dined at a nearby tapas restaurant, triggering a huge missing person investigation. German police said in June 2020 that she was assumed dead and that Bruckner was probably responsible for her disappearance. Nevertheless, British officers continued to treat it as a missing persons case. Unlike Portugal, Germany does not have a statute of limitations for murder. In April, Portuguese authorities made Bruckner an Arguido, a named suspect or formal suspect, who was treated by Portuguese police as more than a witness but has not been arrested or charged. He has been serving a sentence in Oldenburg Prison in northern Germany for raping a woman in 2005 in the same area of the Algarve region of Portugal where Madeline went missing. Bruckner has previously denied any involvement in Madeline's disappearance. Christian Wolters, the state prosecutor in Braunschweig, is investigating Bruckner for five separate alleged defenses. They include three cases of rape and two cases of child molestation, the most recent in 2017 when Bruckner is alleged to have exposed himself in front of a group of children. Walters said in May that new evidence had been found against the prime suspect in Madeline's disappearance. He said in an interview on Portuguese television that investigators believed they had found some facts, some new evidence, not forensic evidence. Thank you for watching Crime Busters 101. I post solved and unsolved and crime-related topic on a weekly basis, so if that's something that you are interested in, please subscribe and hit that notification button.